All right, uh, drone video for the 19 acres at Chalk Bluff. We're on the north side of the property, parked on the uh, easement road, and uh, looking toward the south right now over the property. So good mix of timber. I see I'm pine, oak, uh, hickory, all different types on there. Uh, all the tracks at Chalk Bluff were logged within the last several years. Some were really heavily logged and some were not. This one was not that heavily logged in my opinion, but, but you'd be the judge on that. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of timber left. And actually toward the south uh, side of the property, there's some places where they didn't even log. Uh, so it's a pretty good situation there. We're actually over tracked 50, which is the, the 10 acre. The, the entire property is 19 acres. It's tracked 50 and 51. And this is uh, really just a video of tract 50, um, but 51 is going to be similar. Actually, 51 has a larger flat area uh, toward the easement road. I, I think it does. If you look at the topo map, uh, it definitely appears that way. Uh, so tract 50 definitely has a flat level area, um, but 51 has a larger one. It's just you can't see it in this video. So this is a, a late fall video, and we're looking right into the sun, so we've got a couple things working against us. But I think it shows the, the property fairly well. Beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, we're about a quarter mile from the Rocky Creek Conservation Area, so several thousand acres of, of additional land for hunting. Um, although with 19 acres in this area, you're likely to, to never have to leave your own property. So we're slowly panning toward the south, and you can see the land is beginning to slope. As we get toward the south end, I believe it slopes more steeply, and then that's where you'll find that gravel creek bed. Um, I wish we had the chance to walk down and explore it. We have not. Um, so if and when you do that, uh, we'd love to see some photos. I, I, you know, I would expect it to be quite beautiful, like basically every single creek bed that we have explored in the Ozarks. I don't recall how close we get with the uh, drone video. I guess we'll see in a minute here if we do. The thing I dislike about our drones, I love the drones, but they don't have any zoom on the camera. So as far as getting down close on creek beds and cool stuff, um, there's only so low you can go with the drone before you really risk running into a tree limb that you don't see. And uh, that can kind of end your, your video and your drone really quickly. So somewhere down there is the creek bed. There, Toward the right you can see a little gravel. as we pan toward the west basically and the land would be on the right side of the creek bed but we're going to spin around fully I guess. I was hoping we'd really get down on that creek bed but we didn't so um, bring your hiking boots and check that out I bet there's some cool stuff down there. So now we're at the south side of the property and there we're looking up looking toward the north and up on the top there where it levels out, uh, you can just barely see that easement road. As we look to the right, we probably do catch a glimpse, maybe, of Tract 51. But this really is basically a video of Tract 50, so there's a lot to see that uh, has not been seen in this video. Feel free to go and check everything out. We've provided a ton of maps and directions and an interactive map at instantacres.com. If the property is available, that's where you'll find it, uh, in the 10 plus acre category. If it's not available, then unfortunately it's already been sold if you don't see it on the website. We leave the videos on YouTube because our buyers re request that we do so they can continue to watch them and show their friends and family. But um, ultimately, just go to instantacres.com and you can see all our available properties all at once. So now we're headed back north. I think we're about, toward, about in the middle of the property. Uh, and the larger flat areas on track 50 would be the... Um, the northwest and the northeast side and then like I said when you get out there you'll see track 51 has a, um, a sizable level area um, on the north end so if you wanted a large level building site with a big yard you'd have that option on there so yeah check us out at instantacres.com we would love to talk to you about this property or any property we may have available